hi everyone hi everyone welcome back to my channel if it's your first time on this channel you are welcome i am an aim coaching i'm an author and i also do business now today's um video is for that part of my channel where we talk about all things business and so i'm just going to open up my packages um that is some new addition to my home studio which is part of my home office so and then while i while i open them up and find and um look at them and all of that um i'm also going to be chit chatting with you guys about working with freelancers okay working with freelancers to build your business okay um I have been doing business since 2010 and um, um, what's it called and um, so I've had the privilege of working with freelancers on different projects um, from my books to my actual online stores and basically for both my adults boutique and my children's boutique as well so um i have pretty much a bit of a knack um that i can share with you guys on how to work with freelancers now this is not a sponsored video i got this by the way from from ebay my, both my packages are from ebay and they are from the same seller so if you follow me on my um i have another page on my instagram and also on facebook called dynamic entrepreneurs that is where basically i share things to um, to do with business for entrepreneurs and aspiring entrepreneurs so this week i no last week sorry i shared pleasantly surprised oh okay um i ordered i think it's just a package outside in here um because i ordered this for my studio for the background and it says news newsland cloth but I normally expect muslin to be a soft cloth, but this is stiff. I like the packaging though. I like the package the seller. Um, I posted this on on the dynamic entrepreneurs. So the seller, um, the watermark uh, has their water, the, the, their name on on their product as a watermark. So you can check it out and you can find them on eBay using that name that is on their product so okay oh it's not a cloth it is not a cloth it is not a cloth but it feels a bit like a cloth but it's one of those materials that you can wipe, which is actually good. So I'm pleasantly surprised because I didn't want something that you like had. To. Is it thick enough? Is it thick enough? Okay. I'll just have to. Oh. Okay, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so it's one of those ones that you can't keep anything water next to it or it'll get wet. Uh, you can't keep 
If you can't keep fire next to it, because it will definitely catch fire. But I'm pleasantly surprised with it because it's one of those. Um, it's for my photography, uh, my photo studio, and also my video. Um, my studio is basically for photos and videos, so um, this would look a nice background. I wanted a neutral one, and. Let me put this back. So yeah, so basically I've worked with a few freelancers on my businesses and on my books. So um, the site that you can get freelancers from is basically called Fiverr. And, and you can find from writers, to um, website website developers, um, editors as well, and um, and so yeah, check it out Fiverr. But then also like on social media platforms, keep an eye out like the people who follow you and the people who you want to follow. Like check their profiles. Check. Um, their biographies like what they provide like what services they provide and how you can use their services on um, for your business and um, and then also like ask your friends your family um, and also your colleagues you know for any recommendations depending on what whatever you're you're needing for your business so if you need an editor for example for your books and um the one to you know if you're looking for an editor you ask for an editor if you're looking for someone to um to maybe write your book for you um or write articles for your website you can ask for that um, if you're looking for a web developer for your website, you can ask for that, like recommendations and people aren't often happy to recommend. Now, I often ask fellow entrepreneurs, like if they are happy for me to recommend their businesses and a lot of them do say, yeah, it's fine, you can recommend me. So I've got a few people to recommend in terms of editor you can um you can find them on instagram poems by pearl you can find them on instagram um she does editing for your assignments your books and all of that all things editing including your social media platform before you post like your uh, she'll edit your post before you post them on your social media platform and another um another good one um and nt media nt media um you can also find them on um on instagram as well nt media um by nicity you can find that on on a what's it called on um instagram and they do all things digital marketing and social media management so if you're looking for someone to manage your social media platform nt media is the plug if you're looking for someone to um do like all your digital marketing like teach you the ropes and all of that again nt media is the plug um uh, for web developer i am not quite confident um to give a web developer um so you can find one online you can find one on fiverr the fiverr website um and then you can look at like if you're looking for someone to design your clothes like a tailor something like that you can look online you can look online based on the kind of materials you're going to go for based on the styles that you're going to go for 
now my tailor i use jane couture she's also on instagram um she does like my children's clothing line and also she'll be doing my adult's clothing line as well and um, so far so good like the turnaround i'm happy with the quality um it's been a bit the turnaround has been a bit longer this time but just because of the pandemic so you have to give time to it and like plan in advance and all of that stuff and so yeah so that brings me to my second which is the same the same product basically but in a different color so i'm quite i'm building um my background um for my studio so i'm building like different colors trying to get different colors for it so yellow because part of my brand is um yellow and white so that is why i got the yellow and white first and then i'll get like the black the blue and all the rest of the family for different stuff like that so the rest of the stuff Ooh, I like the yellow. I like because when you're doing style sheets and photo shoots, it's good to have a good background. And also, when you're doing videos, sometimes you want to switch it up a bit. Like I could have just put something behind me, and you wouldn't even know where I am in my house. So yeah. So that is the reason why I want these background sheets. So they have different ones. They have the vinyl ones, which you can just wipe. And then they have the cloth ones, which you can wash. And then the other ones. material that is quite strong so quite strong and durable so i'm glad about that so yeah i'll be getting a few more a few more colors and let me not lose the instruction It's extremely durable, or it is a carefully finished to prevent tears in the matte material. And should it be stained, it can be dry cleaned or even machine washed. Oh, you can put it in the washing machine. Okay. All right, I'll definitely just hand wash it. <laughs> Just, I'll probably just use like a brush and just wash it. But yeah. So yeah. Just keep an eye out for like freelancers. And because they're normally flexible even with their prices. They're flexible and they are, because they work for themselves, they also have like flexible um, turnaround time for like what the services that you require which is really good and then the 
the fees are not too too bad so be prepared to pay because freelancers don't they don't do things for free so be prepared to pay and i wouldn't recommend anybody to do like things for free like completely free unless of course you're getting experience which is not free basically you're still getting something for your service but yeah um if you're gonna like use a freelancer be prepared to pay the only other thing that i'll warn you like with a freelancer look at their recommendations look at their re the reviews about them because i've had an experience where um i paid i gave an editor to edit my work a freelance editor to edit my work and they didn't and i paid them a certain percentage and they didn't give me my work so um that is one thing i'll say like have have agreement in place when you're working with a freelancer so i normally do a deposit half a deposit um and then the other half like when the job is done like when you deliver then i visit it the rest so that you're not leaving out and i'm not leaving out either so that is it guys if you have any questions any recommendations for freelancers put in the comment section in any category whether it's to do with agriculture and um, book writing if you're looking for a book coach it's the um, authorpreneur authorpreneur um, book writing coach he's the one to go to um he was my personal coach for my books and um if you are looking for a graphic designer, uh, Tamara, she's on Instagram, but also Ice Moments Empire, she's on um, Facebook. And those are the ones. If you're looking for a bespoke designer, PMB are the ones. Prince Made a Bespoke suits are the ones, like they do men and women's, so you can check them out for your personalised like suits, bespoke suits and all of that. They're freelancers. So yeah. I will leave you guys with that and have a good night. And I shall see you in the next video. Bye.